Fora TV. The world is thinking. The problem is this. There are two, tr uh, not tracks, there are two clocks ticking in Iran. One is the democracy movement clock, which is ticking now faster than it was, but it's got a lot of catching up to do. And the regime, remember, still has the monopoly of violence. And the Basiji and the goons who they employ may only be f uh, represent 5 to 10% of the population. I'm sure not more, but they do have a lot of force at their disposal, and they're very ruthless. Um, and then there's the clock that's ticking towards uh, nuclear weaponry, towards where these same goons will have nukes. Unless everyone here is very, very much unlike me or very much younger, they'll have had the fear in their life that one day a madman or a mad regime will get hold of a nuclear weapon. Well, you're about to find out what that feels like. And now that's where we can say that's not their internal affair. Iran has sworn repeatedly before every international body, the European Union, the UN, the International Atomic Energy Authority, it doesn't seek nuclear weapons, but it's lied. It's been caught lying. It's developing them very fast. It's going to use them for nuclear blackmail, not against Israel, in my opinion, but against neighboring Gulf Sunni states like Bahrain, which it will claim as its Kuwait. And then it will say, we walk into your country, what are you going to do? What's the West going to do? What's the UN going to do now they know we've got nukes? I was in, sorry if I bang on about this, but I think it's very important. I was in Beirut the other day. I got into a punch up with the Hezbollah, the Iranian client um, in the region. The Hezbollah, their, their election rallies, they lost very badly in Lebanon, by the way, I was pleased to see, as I think they did in Iran, by the way, if the truth were known. <clears throat> but you couldn't help noticing at the election rally that the Hezbollah symbol now is a nuclear mushroom cloud. That's the party symbol with some Islamic words written underneath that uh, I hardly need to translate to you. Now remember, the Iranian regime still says it doesn't seek nuclear weapons. That's its official public position, but they forgot to tell Hezbollah that was the, that was the line. <laughs> and indeed, when Mahmoud Ahmadinejad um, the other day presided over the launching of some missiles that they were testing, he said, by the way, this also vindicates our nuclear program, again forgetting in public, as president, you're not supposed to admit that. Um, they've solemnly sworn they, they don't. So among, among the crimes that would be committed if they were allowed to get nuclear weapons is no international law of any kind or any resolution of any international body would be worth a dime if they could tear it up that easily and just laugh at us. So the question is one for, not for me, but for everyone, or for the president, but for everyone in this room. Which do you think is worse? that the mullahs get a bomb after the way they've behaved to their own people and to their neighboring countries, and the way they intend to go on doing so, or that they be told that they can't have a bomb, and that we'd accept the logical and probable consequences in either case. You don't have to answer now, but you do have to ask yourself. 